All right, guys. So a little bit of a situation today. Had the wrong stair stringers. Needed some longer ones. Needed to go pick up an LVL. Um, so I lost the whole morning running to Lowe's and Menards and all that crap running around. So we got started this afternoon. So I did shoot a time lapse of it. So we'll put that up now. We'll be back here in a second. So we had about four, four and a half hours of time lapse, and here's where we ended up, as you can see. So there's a few things. I mean, nothing ever goes quite as planned, um, but there's a few things with the steps. Unfortunately, I should have got two by twelves. Um, how you want these to work out? Let me find a block. You want these to work out kind of like this. And essentially a two by 12 would hang over an inch and a half or, you know, whatever. And that's to be snugged up against it. So I think what we're going to do is just not close in this part of it, which most shops don't have that closed in anyway. So we'll leave it like it is. Um, cause anything else you're going to have the cut edge of this up here, right? I mean, it probably doesn't matter. You could do that, but I think we're splitting hairs at this point. Uh, we had two guys helping today, uh, so that made everything go really fast. We got, they had to leave, so they didn't get the stub walls done, but we're going to have a stub wall. It's already chalk lined out. The holes are already pre-drilled in the concrete and through the base, so that's ready to put on, tighten them up. Uh, we're going to use Tapcons, and I can only find Tapcons like the size of this screw, like that real skinny, right? And I thought, well... I don't want to put those in there. If you ever bump this with anything, it's going to bust those right off. So we got some of these guys that you hammer in. And remember, these are three eighths, I think. They're not real, real huge, big around. We'll have five in each stub wall. We measure that out so we don't hit the studs. And we have, like before LVL, we're going to have all together seven um, eye joists. And then we just got a temporary support here and support there just in case somebody came in here like my mom just did and walked up the steps so I have to thank cousin phil for doing that because it probably would have wrecked everything or her doing that um and then we just sandwiched in here a two by two on each side of this to give it structure and temporary stuff here once we put the stub ball in all that's going to be all locked in and that'll run the whole width of the whole operation so 14 foot um 14 foot from right here all the way down. So the only thing we're going to have to do that I wasn't real crazy about, but you didn't have any choice if you want a full set of steps is we're going to have to cut out this eye joist and this eye joist, and those will sit on top of the stub wall on each side of the steps. And we did narrow the steps a little bit from four foot to three foot. It just was going to cram the whole operation just that much more. And now we have plenty of room. This is like a normal size step. Uh, normal width and you know it should be pretty strong it should be pretty good overall um you know it's high up there we're six foot seven inches at the bottom of here and from here to the collar ties we're gonna have about six foot nine inches ish six foot ten i think six foot nine time you put the osb on 
So interesting. So there is one thing I did want, and that's I wanted a four foot floor right under the window, but we only got a two foot. We only worked two foot out without getting the steps too far out in the middle of the shop. If we get them too far out in the middle of the shop, when I go to back a car around here, it's going to be kind of in the way. And then when you go to pull a car straight in from the door, you don't want to stick it out too far and you're going to be hitting your door on it. You might clip it with a tire. So you kind of split the difference. The shop's just not big enough for the magnitude of space that we need. But by filling out the second story, that's going to be a tremendous gain. Otherwise, just a waste of space. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's going to be part two to the loft. Part three is going to involve getting all the stem walls up, all the, all the joists in. And I did get the OSB. So we have two inch, two foot on center. I'm super tired. Two foot on center joist. And then I got all the OSB on the trailer. So we use three quarter inch. Back and forth, I'm using tongue and groove to straight edge, end up getting straight edge. So many people are saying tongue and groove squeaked in the tongue and groove. It was about the same price. So did that. Now the nice thing about this, we're gonna have two and a half inches to hit the seam on instead of inch and a half with like a two by 10 or two by 12. It should be interesting. That's gonna be it guys. Next part will be all the stub walls. Part four will be putting the subfloor OSB in. Then we'll be done. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.